Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So I'm sure by now you've all heard about the proposed 1,000% tax increase that lawmakers would love to see implemented on so-called assault weapons. Well, guess what? They're not going to stop there. There is another tax increase that they're looking at right now that would affect you as well. So let's talk about it. Real quick, before we continue, I want to thank you all very much for watching these videos. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and check out the main sponsor of this channel, which is linked down below, the USCCA. With your USCCA membership, you get things like self-defense liability insurance. You get online training, education, a national reciprocity map, and so many other cool things that it makes it absolutely worth it. Definitely check out the USCCA below. So let's go ahead and start off by quickly touching on that 1,000% tax. I know there's a lot of people out there that think that a 1,000% tax would never have a chance of passing the Senate because you'd never get any Republicans on board with something that outrageous. But what you need to remember is when it comes to a simple tax, you don't need a vast majority. You just need a simple majority. So there would only need to be 50 votes in favor. That means that as long as all of the Democrats are on board and you had the tiebreaker from the vice president, that's all you would need for a simple tax to pass. Now, as a broader gun control package, yes, you would need 60 votes and you'd have to get some Republicans on board, plus all of the Democrats in order for it to pass. They've actually tried this in the past with 20%, 30%, and even 50% tax increases, but because they were part of a larger gun control bill, those needed a larger majority in the Senate in order to go through, and they failed. Okay, so that leads us into H.R. 8741, which looks to tax the back end now. We know that they want a 1,000% sales tax, but what about the manufacturers and the people that create these things? Well, this bill looks to increase their taxes by 20%, and you know that's going to just simply translate over to the cost of the item. So what this bill says is any manufacturer or importer who deals in these so-called called assault weapons is going to have to pay an additional 20% tax. So they already pay tax. They're going to have to pay an additional 20% tax on all of their total revenue. So not just the revenue that was generated or created by selling those particular items. No, on their total revenue stream. So even if, you know, these ARs are just a small part of their total annual profits, that is going to cause their total annual profits to be taxed at that extra 20%. And what do you think is going to happen if they get taxed extra 20%? Well, they're simply just going to pass on the cost to you because they can't afford to lose 20% of their overall profits in taxes. So they're going to take something that may have cost $500 before and they're going to sell it for $700. You take that 1,000% tax, you add that on top of that. Now something that cost 500 bucks went to 700, went to 7,000. That is what's going to happen. And that's what they're trying to accomplish here with this, this bill is they're trying to make it unattainable. They're trying to make it so unaffordable that the average person can't get it. But what they're doing is they're simply just pricing out people who probably need it the most. Now, I'll put a link to the text down below if you guys want to actually read the text of this bill. But let me go ahead and just read you the title for now. Uh, to amend the Internal Revenue Code of 1986 to impose a tax on the total revenue of manufacturers and importers of semi-automatic assault weapons. So, just like with the 1,000% tax, this one right here is looking to amend the tax code. It's not part of a broader or larger bill, which means it's not going to require 60 votes. It would only require... 50 votes. So again, this is another one that could be pushed through Congress. Right now, the makeup of Congress is in this bill's favor. We know that it could very easily pass the House and only needing 50 votes in the Senate, it could very easily pass the Senate and go up to the president's desk. And we all know that he would absolutely sign something like this. So let's just say that the thousand percent tax is just a total joke, right? That's nothing that's actually going to go through. If this goes through at only 20%, right? It's not that big of a deal. They can maybe make the case for this. It's, it's all ridiculous, right? But let's say they do make the case for this and this actually does pass and a 20% extra tax is imposed on this industry. What do you think is going to happen? The price of absolutely everything is going to go up. It's not just going to be the things that they're trying to stop you from having. It's going to be everything in their product lineup is going to go up. Because again, remember, it's the total revenue. So even if they have a bolt action or a single shot or something like that, right? Totally unrelated to what uh, you know they're going after. Those prices are all going to go up just as much as everything else. So again, you're going to see a 20% inflation on just about every product that you would find. 
Now, since this bill was just introduced, I don't know if it has the legs to go anywhere. We're going to have to wait and see what the movement is like on this one. But if you click the link down below and you go to the actual bill, I believe that somewhere on there is a link where you can actually contact your congressman about this and let them know that you completely disapprove of it and basically let them know that what you're doing is a tax on the poor. That's what you're doing because people who are rich, people who can still afford it, people who are affluent are going to have absolutely no problem just paying these inflated prices. They can go get whatever they want. So really what you're saying is you have taken a right that is afforded to all citizens and you've simply delegated it to the rich. That's what this bill does. It gives all the power to the rich and takes all the power away from the poor and from the middle class. So, you know, if you're going to write a letter, make sure you mention that in there because that's really what this does. Uh, in effect, it's a tax against the poor. So uh, I wanted to let, make you guys aware of that. It's a, a really important one because of its, you know, ease of passing. And so we need to stay on top of this one and watch it. And I'll bring you guys any updates or alerts that happen on this. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.